why biotech freshers, life science freshers don't get a job easily. The question keeps coming to me every now and then. A lot of people who look for jobs at Biotechnica website have this principal question in mind. Why biotech freshers don't get a job? Or rather, why freshers don't get a job readily? Before I get to the crux of this question, I will try to answer you in one line if you have less time. Biotech freshers don't get a job because they were never prepared for a job. All this while, they have prepared for the university exams, internal exams, but they actually were never prepared for the job. So it's like you have been trying to grow an apple tree. How can you get an orange from it? According to me, this question should not be like why biotech freshers don't get a job. Rather, we should say why any freshers from any stream in general don't get a job so easily. Number 1. Most of the Indian students are busy preparing for their engineering entrance or medical entrance exam, busy covering the entire entrance exam syllabus and solving a lot of multiple choice questions. In this rat race of competition, some clear the exam and some do not. The ones who don't qualify these exams take admission in biotech. While they could never really focus on the concepts which were being taught in the class in 12th, same happens during the bachelors. This disillusionment leads to a lot of problems and when they have completed their masters or bachelors, they find it difficult to get a job as an interview's basic conceptual questions are also asked, which they fail to answer. Number 2. Life science field is pretty huge. It's highly diverse with a lot of specialization and branches. There is life science and under it comes applied life science. That means you have various subjects to choose from and each subject is itself a field. Let's take mechanical engineering for an example. It just means mechanical engineering. If I say electrical engineering, it is electrical engineering. But when I say life science, it means biochemistry, molecular biology, cell biology, evolution, ecology, and the list continues. Newer fields are also being added at a rapid rate based on scientific advancements and latest research. What I'm trying to say here is you need to pick up the subjects you want to specialize in your bachelor's and master's very carefully. It should be a combination of both what you like to study and its scope. Number 3. Next point on which I would like to focus on is the lack of suitable upscaling institutes. Most of the universities and colleges prepare the students to qualify the university exams and not beyond that. Hence, the students end up just preparing for their degree exam. And that is what I iterated in the first point. You're always preparing for your university exam and worried about internal marks. So, obviously, you will qualify for your university exam and be a topper too. But that does not certify you to get a job. Of course, getting good marks in the university exams matters. But you have to make sure that simultaneously you are conquering all the concepts taught in class and become a master of it. Spare out some time, talk to your professors and explore how you can enhance your overall skills. To get a job, you need to have skills which others don't have, be it communication skills, body language skills or technical skills related to the job you are applying for. Thus, lack of upscaling institutes is a very important point here. Most such institutes should come up which would make students job ready right after they finish their degree course. Number 4. Ignorance among the students. You would say that's not true, but I have proofs. 
being in the industry for the past 15 years, I have experienced this. Even though students have access to all the skill set, they are ignorant. They are ignorant about the future, their career. They really don't want to think beyond 4 pm when the class or lab gets over and they just rush towards the canteen or their room. In fact, many a time, whenever I had a workshop or a conference after 3 pm, few students would turn up because they all would run away. I know, you must be thinking now, shouldn't you enjoy your college life a bit? Yes, you must, I will say, but learn to plan and prioritize things first. These are the stepping stones of a career. Be a little cautious and vigilant. Number 5. Most of the students either lose interest in their study by the end of the course or they switch to other fields. This all happens due to lack of guidance. I'm sure this is being plucked partially now by Biotechnica. However, to date, I see a lot of students are still not on the internet. Hence, they are unaware of the latest advances. They don't get proper guidance. Thus, they end up taking guidance from people who haven't themselves updated their knowledge in past 20 years. Life science industry changes every hour, so you need to keep checking the internet, keep reading journals, you need to keep yourself updated and seek proper guidance from the experts to get ahead in your career. If you walk side by side with the latest advancements in the biotech and life science field, you will be aware beforehand which field is booming where more jobs are there and accordingly you can plan. Start analyzing the points mentioned above. Read in between the lines. It will definitely help you land up with a high paying job. But remember, you need to be consistent. You need to be persistent. You need to work hard and smart. While applying for a job, read the job description carefully and analyze what is required and prepare your CV and yourself according to it. Improve your communication skills. Learn how to talk confidently during an interview. Seek guidance from experts and not from people who have not updated their knowledge in the past 20 years. All the best and have a great day ahead. Should you have any questions, please comment below. Do not forget to subscribe to Biotechnica's YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with latest in BT sector.